I'm making the upper half injection two lengths. And you can see it's now doing the guide pin hole. Here are four guide pins on the corner for alignments of upper half and the lower half mode. And the area, core area was the machine. At the current, you can see the current is a little bit softer than the cutting area. Here is the finished upper half. These two rings around 6 inch long and 3 inch wide and there is no runner or gate here and actually in the upper half most day are these items and I will explain why it's not appear here later And you can see some sharp corner here. Very small radius are used a 0 0.8 millimeter cutter, milling cutter to 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 go go around here. And you can see here is very deep, and I can still cut it by milling. And in Traditional methods, it will need to be EDM. And here is also a narrow slot here. Half mode uh, was split over after finish the first time, and now in this side, I I knew the runner actually the half of the runner in the usual injection mode this runner should be cut on the original first side but this is a special type of injection mode that I will and I will later explain it later because this is special one for this new new cutter from this side and actually the runner already cut by 2 mm millimeter new cutters and now it is finished by 4 head mill it is 2.3 something you need to go ahead and use So this is pinpoint gate and this circular hole is of 0.8 millimeter 
in diameter and I use 0 0.77 millimeter drilling cutter to build this hole and you can see the speed rate is very slow because there is very difference between the diameter of cutters and the hole so during the new rings it is something like the pack two rings and it will go down and go up and you can see here this very little small diameter this is the spur this is the gain and later on I will show you the hole and during this cutting sufficient current is Necessary or necessary, and otherwise, and, and also the slow fit. Otherwise, if the, the small diameter cutters break, and this is the carbide cutter, it will stick on the material, and it is difficult to remove the broken chip out. Now it is almost finished and it is very thick, it is a big chopper with the two broken broken and it is finished Later on, I will show the holes. And if the cutter break broken, uh, you may, in the worst case, need to use EDM machines to build the broken parts cutter. And my mirroring EDM machines is standard and so I'm also in trouble if there is in that scenario. Mm, here you can see what it all about. This is a small hole here and also here. This is the hole where the molten plastic come out and go to this cavity. You see here from this hole and also for this box, this hole underneath is difficult to see. Our focus anyway, looking on it here. The stick just go through it and turn it over, and this is right here. Okay, you can see if see you can go through the light, you can see. The light go through the small hole, there's four hole, and this this is the runner. Later on I will continue the other parts lower half and the and the runner play. It's the 0.77 millimeter moon cutter and you can compare the size is very thin small this is carbides and it is used in, in mirroring the PCB 
the port view around the couple and to make the copper trap on the PC port. <laughs> 